white here. This is a segment about uh, repurposing things. In this case, I have this uh, old uh, satellite dish unit, and I had some had some crazy ideas on what to do with this thing. I just hated to throw it away because it's it's a high tech high tech piece, high tech piece of machinery, and. Uh, so I got the crazy idea. Well, why not? What if I was to make this into a uh, solar-powered heat arrangement? Okay, it's got a it's got a uh, hyperbolic uh, what do you call it? Uh, concentrate to concentrate the energy, reflected energy into this what's now a feed horn a feed horn of the of the uh, of this uh, receiver and so any of the energy that's coming in it'll, it'll focus it to this point here and uh, eventually I'll make a make a little, a little arrangement that will maybe I'll put a laser on it and put it on a three a three point frame and then I can find the exact focal point of this, of that spot of reflected energy. Now looking at this, looking at this unit here, since I'm a steam engine kind of a guy, I like, I like making steam engines, and the idea of making steam engines. And I got to looking at this. Now I've got a patent for a heat exchanger. It's still an active patent. It's uh, patent number 75880074, and it has to do with the it has to do with the uh, uh, the way heat is is transferred. It's called in the rate of heat ex heat in the rate of heat transfer across boundaries, and it has to do with the the shape of the in this case the shape of the fins of the heat exchanger. I got to looking at this unit here. This looks like it could be a sealed unit. Right now it's got electronics in it. But what if what if I was to seal this off in such a way, take it apart, seal it and put a fluid through there. And it's got it's got, uh, well, it appears to be like threaded ports, threaded ports for electrical connections, but those threaded ports could be for moving fluids. So if I was to put this, if I was to put this arrangement here into the focal point area of this collector, having the heat against going against it and being absorbed by this unit here, that the heat it would pick up, I could transfer by fluid back to storage units or storage container, or let's say if it gets hot enough where I can make, where it'll produce steam, and then the fluid could come up in here and be heated in this, in this area, in this area as a collector, and be converted to steam to come out and do steam stuff. But, uh, even as a heating unit, just a heating unit, if I was to mount this outside the house, and uh, and I use this to heat fluids, fluids that can stand it, like certain kinds of oils and things that uh, can withstand, you know, much higher temperatures, and then store that hot fluid in reservoirs, and where later on I can transfer it to other heat exchangers up in the house, and radiators and things, and be able to heat some areas of the house. So, it's just a matter of figuring it out, and I think it'd be a relatively simple thing. On the dish itself, to make it a more effective reflector of solar light energy, uh, I may be able to uh, coat this with, say, aluminum foil, a, ref a reflective, shiny reflective aluminum foil, and have it concentrate up here. And ch chances are very good that this thing, the temperature, excuse me, the temperature of this thing here, the focal point, uh, could reach 
several hundred degrees or more, maybe into the thousands. If it burns paper, it's pretty hot. And uh, now steam, I only need to get, I only need to get to maybe 700 degrees, and that's a critical temperature for as a liquid. And, but at that temperature, it's about 5,000 psi if it's contained. Okay, so it's 5,000 psi at 700 and five degrees or whatever that critical temperature is but let's just say I only want to keep it at 300 degrees we're still talking about 100 psi pressure of steam uh, available 100 psi steam it's about 350 348 something like that and that amount of that amount of uh, pressure could drive a little turbine or a little steam engine of some arrangement to generate electricity let's say and uh, that would work for that purpose. So anyway, the possibilities of using this for energy concentration onto the onto the areas looks really promising. So that's just, just another project on the to do conversion. So we'll stop that.